Welcome to Exploring Nature with Children Winter Sky Week. I'm Samantha from Twinkle and I'm really excited to be doing Winter Sky Week this week with you. We've got some brilliant discussion questions and some great activities coming up. Wherever you are, you might be at home or out in nature walk, you can still see the sky. And also it's really nice during Winter Sky Week because you might want to do the sky during the day or during the night or even both. It's entirely up to you. So have fun going out, looking at the sky, exploring its different colours and any features you might see. Let's have a few discussion questions to think about while we're looking at the sky. Today I've got my cyanometer with me as well because I can see it looks like it might be a powder colour today. But as I said, the sky is always changing what colour it is. Often it's blue and we associate blue with trust and knowledge. Also sad and cold get associated with blue. What sorts of things do you associate the blue colour with? Do you have any special associations with certain colours? Maybe black when you think about night, that might have certain associations with you too. Looking at the psychology of colour is really fascinating. And because the sky is such a bright blue in the sky all around the world, that can have quite a lot of symbolism around the world too. So first question to have a discussion about is what does blue mean to you? Looking at the sky today, there's so many different colours in the clouds. However, if you came at night and there weren't so many clouds, you might even be able to see stars. We can't see stars during the day because it's so bright. However, they're all up there in space. So our second big discussion question for you to think about is where does the sky end and space begin? Finally, for our last discussion question, what do you think the sky looks like from space? Now that's a really interesting one because we're thinking about changing our perspective. And we don't know what the sky looks like from down here, but if you were up above the sky and the earth, what does it look like looking down? Looking down at the earth's atmosphere is the same as looking up through the earth's atmosphere and you can see a tinge of blue over the land. We're going to explain this further in the experiment later in the video, so keep watching to find out why. So if you go out on a winter walk, don't forget your hat because it is very cold, or you're at home keeping warm and looking out the window, I've got a three, two, one challenge of things to find in the sky. So can you find three different colours? Can you find two different types of clouds? You might even want to name those clouds. And can you find one object up in the sky. If you're looking at night you might find a satellite or something interesting so do let us know in the comments below. Now let's think a bit more about the sky and what else we can do with some craft activities. A brilliant craft activity to do is to paint the sky. We've started with blue, white and black paint and we're just experimenting with those to see how many different colours of blues we can make just using those three colours. You might like to use different coloured blue paint as well. And then we're using those to then paint onto a big blue sky picture with clouds on. And we're using other colours to mix in to put some blending in with the other colours. Then we're using white and black to make some wonderfully fluffy clouds and blending those colours together across the sky. I can't wait to see what your sky pictures look like too. Our second craft activity is making paper snowflakes using the twinkle sheets. These are really simple to download and then fold up together and cut out the shape to make a really pretty snowflake. So you just need to fold it in half so you can still see the pattern to cut out. And then once you've cut it out, you've got a beautiful snowflake. There are other patterns too, as well as you could always try and draw your own snowflakes. This is a simple experiment to show why the sky is blue. All you need is a torch, a container of water and some milk. Start by shining the torch through the container of water and you can look at the colours the torch is giving off. Then add a small amount of milk and stir. When you then shine the torch back on the box, see if you can see any slight changes in the colour and you might see a blue effect. This is because white light is made up of all the colours of the rainbow. Blue light is scattered more than the other colours, so we see the blue light most of the time in the sky. This is due to all the tiny molecules in the Earth's atmosphere that scatter the light. This final activity is making a cloud inside a bottle. You need to be very careful because you're going to use hot water for it. So you need to pour some hot water from a kettle into a bottle. 
The hot water in the bottle means some of the water evaporates into water vapour inside the bottle. Next, you need some matches, and again, be really careful using matches. And you want to blow out the match before you put it in the bottle so that some of the smoke from the matches goes into the air in the bottle. The smoke particles form a surface on which the water vapour in the bottle can condense onto to go into a water liquid, and then you'll be able to see that as your cloud, which is what clouds are made from, water vapour that has condensed on particles. Thank you so much for joining me today for another brilliant Nature Week with Exploring Nature with Children, all about Winter Sky Week. I hope you found it useful. If you'd like to make a cyanometer so you can measure the colours of the sky, you can check that out in our Weather Week because that would be brilliant for today's activities as well. And we look forward to seeing you again soon for more nature fun. Thank you.